Another study in the International Journal of Cancer finds that breast cancer survivors are 16% more likely to develop melanoma than women who have never had breast cancer. So joining us this morning is Dr. Karen Lull. She is the Director of Pediatric Dermatology and uh, Cosmetic Surgery at Affiliated Dermatology. And I believe we've got Karen here now. Good morning. Can you hear me okay? Seems like we've got a little bit Good of morning. a Good morning, how are you? Good morning, okay, we're gonna see if we can do this. Gotta love a technology. So let's talk a little bit, uh, Karen, about the connection between breast cancer survivors and melanoma. Why do you think they're getting melanoma at a higher rate? Well, I think there's a number of reasons. I think, you know, a lot of breast cancer survivors are subject to getting chemotherapy and getting radiation therapy, which is part of their treatment regimen, which in general also puts people at risk for other types of cancers. In addition, there are certain genes that are involved in breast cancer, such as BRCA1 and BRCA2, and other genes that we're not even aware of or that we are aware of that can also be associated with an increased risk of developing melanoma. It doesn't seem like this is talked about much, this correlation. Yeah, it's definitely not talked about much. And I think it's because even though, you know, I think people think of skin cancer is still relatively a benign type of cancer, but I will remind you, it's the most common type of cancer in the world. Um, and people think that it's relatively treatable, but I still argue that melanoma is one of the deadliest cancers that I see um, and I encounter. And so that's why I make sure a lot of people when, as you know, when they're doing their self breast exams every month, they also check their skin every month and make sure they find and look for any changing moles or any changing spots and bring that to the attention of their dermatologist. What do you want breast cancer survivors who are watching this program? What do you want them to know and what should they be on the lookout for moving forward now that they have this information? I definitely think it's important to know you recognize what are the signs of a changing mole. You want to look for things that are asymmetrical, things that have irregular borders, multiple colors. If you see a mole that's changing and is the, greater than the size of a pencil eraser, that can be concerning. Make sure you also go and see an eye doctor every year and an OBGYN every year because you can get melanoma in your eye as well as in the vaginal area. Wow. So even just like you're doing your self breast exams and seeing your breast physician, you want to make sure you see a dermatologist, ophthalmologist and OBGYN every year for complete maintenance. So every year for people with breast cancer um, or who have survived breast cancer, what about the general public? Maybe we haven't um, had breast cancer before. Should we still be going in every month or every year, I should say? I think I usually recommend yes. If you're over the age of 18, um, you should get a skin exam every year because guess what? Not a lot of people look at your skin. You know, primary care doctors are phenomenal, but they're so busy trying to keep you healthy and up to date. Um, you know, they don't have time to do all those things. And so it's really important to make sure that you find a specialist and a dermatologist that's board certified that you trust that is going to make sure and do your skin exam and counsel you about the use of sun protection, sunscreen and sun protective clothing. Thank you so much, Dr. Karen Love. We appreciate you joining us this morning. And uh, hey, connection and all that, it worked. And so we're uh, uh, glad that you could provide us some perspective on this.